DVD Era TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Today we're going to talk about the time Lloyd Banks got shot after leaving the club. Now let's get into it. Mixtapes and DVDs is my era. Facts. We did it better. Yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers. Facts. ACG Boots. Uh. We 80s babies. Ooh. In early 90s, when it got grimy. I was out of this world, you could not find me. Unless you checked the lobby. Hustling was my hobby. We was lobby boys yep. before Jim Jones. You could catch me at Harlem eating Jim Bones. Now, before Lloyd Banks dropped his classic album for The Hunger For More, with songs like Warrior, Karma, Southside Story, Lloyd Banks would be shot outside a Queens nightclub. Now, Lloyd Banks would be shot just a little over a year after his fellow G-Unit member 50 Cent was shot nine times. Now, G-Unit members are no stranger to being on the other side of the gun. Now, Young Buck was shot twice in the home invasion. The game was shot five times. 50 Cent was shot nine times. Kid Kit was shot six times. And Uncle Murder was even shot in the head. Now, a few of these shootings may be a little exaggerated, but it seems like one of the requirements of being down with G-Unit is getting shot. Now, when Lloyd Banks is asked about being shot, he basically says it was a random act. He got shot in his back and in his stomach on the let out of the club and he actually ran to his nearest hospital after he was wounded. Now when Lloyd Banks is asked about being shot, he never makes it clear if he had an altercation with someone in the club and it spilled over until when he got outside the club or he never makes it clear if he seen someone he had beef with and when they seen him outside they shot him. He never makes it clear. Now here's an article I found about Lloyd Banks being shot and it says after exiting a club in Southside, Jamaica, Queens in 2001, G-Unit rapper Lloyd Banks was shot twice in what's described as a random act of violence. He was hit in the back and stomach and ran to his nearest hospital after suffering his injuries. Worse yet, he woke up in the hospital on September 11th and watched the Twin Towers fall in disbelief. Yeah, that's definitely crazy to be shot up in the hospital while that whole 9-11 thing was going on. I know he was going through it. Now, here's another article I found about Banks being shot, and it says, On September 10th, 2001, Banks was shot twice while leaving a nightclub in Southside, Jamaica, Queens. He was hit in the back and stomach and ran to his nearest hospital after suffering his injuries. Now, Lloyd Banks will speak about this whole situation on a song called If You So Gangster," which is one of my favorite songs by Lloyd Banks, and he says, I'm only calm when I'm blowing that crown, getting them flashbacks like, baby, hold on. I never thought I'd sweat so long and reenact the scene up my ghetto song. Eyes wandering off, breath all gone, stomach all swolled up, neck all warm, head still spinning off that Seagram vodka. Do you know who shot ya? Chick at the doctor. Now, one of the rumors I heard about Lloyd Banks being shot was that after he was shot, you know, Bangham Smurf actually went and put some work in behind him getting shot and got some retaliation i don't know how true it is but that's just one of the rumors that was going around now whether or not lloyd banks was shot in the crossfire or he had an altercation that led to him being shot outside the club it really doesn't matter because he pulled through the whole situation and ended up making history in the hip-hop game now my reason for making these videos is just to give you a backstory on some of your favorite hip-hop artists and let you know about some things you may have never heard of. But anyway, if you appreciate these classic hip-hop stories, tell a friend to tell a friend about my page. Like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Happy New Year's. Until next time, I'm out. One. <laughs>